We're not broke and we're not going to fold. That's what officials in Lincoln Heights are saying about the community's financial health. As Local 12's Jeff Hirsch tells us, community leaders are saying no way to reports that the village owes the sheriff $650,000. Don't say that we broke. Mm -hmm. We just can't pay you what you want. It was that way this morning on Lincoln Ware's radio talk show. I feel that it's politically driven. Mm. Um, it is a contested election year. Those reactions from current and former Lincoln Heights Village officials to reports yesterday that the small, predominantly African-American community owes Hamilton County $650,000 for sheriff's patrols in 2015 and cannot afford other patrols in the future. I don't believe that they paid last year and, and we've gotten no payments this year, so I think it's important that we take a step back and, and recognize that there's a significant problem there. Uh, I reached out to the, the state auditor, David Yost. He's uh, agreed with me that there's a need for the state to step in and consider whether or not we need to declare some form of emergency. They blindsided us. I mean, I, I'm with the family sitting down and all of a sudden my phone just blew up. Lincoln Heights has had money troubles before its police department was disbanded in 2014 after that department could not get insurance. The sheriff's office stepped in with patrols for a cost. The mayor says Lincoln Heights did pay all of its 2015 oh, bills. Really? Invoices for 2016 okay. so far have come in. The mayor says those and the rest of this year will be paid as well once a new contract is negotiated. Believe me, you know, if we owe somebody, we will pay them. We're not asking for nothing free, but we are asking for things that are beneficial to us, things that we should have, you know, like other communities. So this is just a contract dispute, right? Basically? Yes. A spokesperson for Sheriff Jim Neal says incorporated villages like Lincoln Heights are obligated by law to provide police services. The spokesperson says the sheriff will try to find a solution that keeps both citizens and his deputies safe. So this seems to be a dispute over how much money Lincolnites can afford this year versus how much the sheriff thinks is needed for crime fighting and officer safety. Back to you. All right, Jeff, thank you. Sheriff's patrols will continue while all this is worked out.